So let's go. Step one. Commit to the song. So you just heard a new song, you love it, and you want to learn it. The first thing you cannot do is get discouraged and think, oh, it's too hard, it's going to take too long. If you have time right then, take the challenge. You have to think of the song as a challenge and not a chore. Avoid all distractions as possible. Close your Facebooks and your nine gags and all your memes. Get a bottle of water and just get it done. Do it! Number two! Analyze the structure of the song. Now, when you want to learn a new song, you're going to have to listen to it at least a couple times before you really get into it. While you're listening to it, you'll notice there's a chorus here, there's a breakdown here, there's a cool riff here and whatnot. But more importantly, you have to notice the repetition of the song and how many times things really do repeat. Now for this example, I'm going to be using Veil and Maya's Mikasa to get my point across. It's 3 minutes and 13 seconds long. I did an entire structural layout to show you guys what I mean. Now I have all the parts, I have how many times they're played in brackets, I have how long each part is on their own, and I have how many times it repeats. If you add up all the individual parts of the song, and how long they are, without including repetition, you'll notice that it equals a total of a minute and 50 seconds out of the 3 minute and 13 seconds of the total length of the song. That means around 50% of the song is just repetition. You really only need to learn a minute and 50 seconds of this song to know the entire song from start to finish. This applies to a lot of music unless it's very progressive. Now you don't have to do an entire structural layout, you simply just have to listen to the song for a couple minutes, make a mental note of where parts are and where they repeat, and it'll make the song a lot easier for you to learn and understand. Step 2! Find the tuning of the song. Now the majority of this is trusting your ear, but I have a couple tips that really have helped me, and 95% of the time you can apply them to any modern metal nowadays. The first one is, find the lowest note used in the song. Now you can look throughout the whole song, listen to it, and see if you can just do it by ear, but the first thing I always go to is the breakdown. Especially in modern metalcore, deathcore, hardcore, whatever core you want, find where those zeros are, and that is your lowest note. Second tip is, find the drop tuning equivalent of that note. So for example, in Mikasa, I found the lowest note in the breakdown, which was B. So what did I do? I tuned to drop B. Now if you don't know all your drop tunings, I'll put a description below that simply shows the tunings for 6 string, 7 string, for any drop tuning. So your next question probably is, how do I know if I use a 6 string, a 7 string, or an 8 string? And you can never be 100% certain unless you know exactly what gear the guitarist of that band uses. So what I did is over the years I've kind of created my own guidelines of what to use and it seems to be pretty accurate to what the guitarists of those bands really do use. So if the tuning is drop A sharp to drop D sharp and higher, I'll use my 6 string. If it's drop F to drop A, I'll use my 7 string and anything lower than that I have to use a 9 or an 8 string usually. <laughs> Learn the song. Okay. Now, again, the majority of this is trust in your ear, but what do you do? You don't have tabs, and maybe you didn't train your ear as well as you wish you did over the years. So I'm going to give you a couple tips that really helped me train my ear and just get better at learning songs really fast overall. First one is take the song as it comes. Don't just go straight to the crazy groovy breakdown or the awesome shred solo start from the beginning. Now learn every part on its own first before you move on to the next one. So start from the first one and then what you do is learn the notes before you learn the rhythm. Simply because while you're learning the notes the rhythm will naturally come to you. It will mold perfectly together. Now what do you do? You, you get to a crazy ass Jason Richardson style fast part where you, you can't even comprehend what notes he's using because he's going too fast. Now what I use is, I go to YouTube, I use the video speed settings function, and I simply slow down the video to half. I don't have to do this a lot, but when I do, I know it's tedious and it's annoying, but you just have to do it. And you have to learn every individual note that is used, and make sure you do it accurately. No one wants to hear some crazy shred that's kinda similar, but you just made it easier. Another major thing that can really help, and no it's not 100% required when it comes to learning things by ear, but it will help tremendously, and that is knowing your scales and modes. Now I know a lot of you hate music here, 
I hated music theory, especially when I had to learn it a long time ago. But you just have to learn it once and it's there forever. There are only three really big scales used in modern metal nowadays anyways, which is the minor scale, harmonic minor scale, and the Phrygian dominant scale. If you learn all those scales and you learn their modes, which are simply being able to play those scales all over the fretboard, you'll be able to play things and learn things by ear so much faster. I'll put a link in the description below to some scales that hopefully can help you do that. My last tip is simply push beyond your skill. Don't get discouraged because you think a part's too hard. You think of it as a challenge and just do it. Practice and practice until you can do it perfectly. And you can do it as long as you really are dedicated. Now, if you follow all these steps and you practice and you train your ear even a little bit, I can guarantee you, you'll be able to learn songs in under an hour with ease. Cover it. Hey YouTube, thanks for watching. These are the methods that I use every day to learn any song to do any cover, and they work best for me. They might not work the best for you, but they will for sure help and reduce the time it takes you to learn a song if you practice them. If you have any questions or any other methods that other people may enjoy or may help them, be sure to leave them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up to subscribe to follow more of my crazy ass content. And if you didn't like this video, that sucks.